Hello everybody, you're watching Ballerina Badass. My name is Georgia Reed and today I'm going to be doing a few basic point shoe exercises. First things first, I like to tape my toes. You guys have seen me do this before. I like to tape each of my toes, although my second and third toes on my foot are connected at the bottom, which can be a problem. Sometimes I wish they weren't because they could probably have more ability to move on their own. And of course I deal with bunions, so I normally use, um, I try to use toe separators. Sometimes my feet like them, sometimes my feet hate them. It just depends on the day and which point shoes I'm wearing, etc. But for today, I'm doing this. It's better if you the tape closes underneath the toe, not right at the side where it'll rub and possibly come undone. But oh well, one of these toenails is a little long, but I think it's going to be okay just for today's warm-up exercises. Now for a long time, all I wore was tape in my shoes and nothing else. No foot pads, no lamb's wool, no nothing. I am now today going to use the toe pad. I can't believe I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. So I think I'm going to start with my, I'm going to start with my Russian points and see how those feel. And then if I don't like those, I'll move on to the Suffolk, but let's see how the Russian points feel. These are the non, these are regular um, satin ribbons. I do like these stretchy ribbons because of my Achilles heel. However, sometimes that actually is a problem because you can tie them tighter. So I have to be conscious about not over tightening them. The satin ribbon, my God, I grew up with it. I'm used to it, so not a big deal. Ah, first time back in point shoes in god three years i mean other than like maybe the occasional class okay there's one foot let's do the other foot you can see most of my calluses are pretty much gone if you can't see well there you go i feel like my bunions are slowly getting more pronounced and i will eventually need to get bunion surgery my grandmother had bad bunions and i saw her feet when she was in her 80s and it was terrifying so um, I'm still not in pain so much I am starting to notice especially in my left foot that the, the big toe is starting to move so far over it is starting to feel strange not painful but strange so sooner than later it's gonna have to be addressed and yes it does scare me a bit Yep, okay, so we'll give that a shot. Okay, so we're at the bar and this is just going to be some very basic exercises to warm your feet up. As you all know, I have not been doing anything really on point for the past three years, so I need to take it easy and be kind to myself and get back into it carefully. So I'm going to start in parallel. Now for me, I do have bunions, so I could, if I if I open my heels up, now you know it's, my toes are closer to touching, but that doesn't work. It's more important for me for where I'm at because also I have the hyperextended leg problem, right? So if you can see if, as my legs hyperextend, that pushes everything back and makes your butt muscles want to disengage and your stomach stick out. So I like to keep that lifted and keep my knees engaged. Now I 
don't want to slightly bend my knees. I do like to keep them straight, but not that pushed back straight, right? That lifted up all through here straight and engaged. I don't know if you guys can see through the bar that I'm hiding behind, but this is where I lost the most of my um, muscle definition and engagement. All of those rotator muscles are really just gone and out of shape. My butt uh, looks great in jeans right now, but um, yes, definitely not it's so useful for ballet at the moment. So I'm going to focus on just lifting in here, keeping a neutral spine, but feeling these muscles wrapping around the back. As I lift up in here through my stomach and then engage those back deep six rotator muscles under your butt, I want to find a way to still not tuck or tighten anything in my hip flexor area, right? So I'm trying to strengthen around everything else so that then these guys don't get overused and tight. Okay, so starting at the bar, I'm just going to simply do some, you guessed it, plies and releves, right? Plie, roll over, and up. I'm doing this, I'm keeping those heels locked together as much as I can, and when I come back down, I'm lifting up in the opposite direction for the rest of my body. Up and down. Oh, I feel tension moving into my shoulders. Let's open that up, but keep the rib cage closed and down. I'm trying to get over my point shoes. And I am using the bar here a little bit to support. You know, the tricky thing these days, a lot of point shoes these days are engineered in such a way that they can hold anybody up on point, regardless of your training. Now, in one sense, that's really neat, right? We've got stronger point shoes that last longer and can support dancers. However, that also means that we have situations where people are just sitting in their point shoes and making the point shoes do all the work instead of lifting up through their bodies and lifting out of the shoe so that then their feet are able to move and be more malleable and more articulated, right? Articulated in the movement. So it's important that you don't make the shoes do all the work. All right, I am going to now reverse Real basic, you guys. Lifting up through the shoe, rolling over, ooh, going through plie, and straighten. Up, feel that lift off the back of your neck, roll over, that feels amazing. The shoes feel just a touch short with that extra bulk in them from the pads, the toe pads. Because when I got fitted for these shoes, I got fitted without any filler. So it's interesting. I see. I'll just need to wait and see if I can keep using these shoes. Okay, I'm going to go into first, all right? Now, again, I have the kind of feet and ankles that I can force a 180 through my feet, but my knees and my hips are not matching it, right? So it's tempting to want to force those feet. But we're at the bar at home, people, okay? This is for you to work out and work through your kinks. So I'm going to start, again, from those deep rotator muscles, the deep six under my butt, right? Like there's a cactus under your butt, as Diane Loridson would say, poop, poking you. So feel that coming together. And that's creating the turnout. Eh, oh, don't cheat. Tempting. Same thing. Plie, roll over, come up. When you're up at the top, it's tempting to either sit back in your ankles or roll too far forward. You want to be right smack dab in the middle, right? Feel that. And roll down slowly. And plie. See how my heels are already wanting to come apart, especially because of the hyperextension? I know there's some schools of thought where they feel like it doesn't matter, you know, you should keep the knee straight, so that would be with my hyperextension with the heels, they would not come together, but I'm going to keep my heels together because I want that connection to stay strong. 
as I'm working through this. And up. And plie. Keep breathing. And you're going to play with this on your own, right? See where you're at. Where are you holding the tension? I'm going to hold here for a second and just feel. Am I using those muscles? Am I feeling this rotating outward on my thighs? Am I feeling the lift through my stomach, but still keeping a neutral spine? And the lifting up and lifting up and lifting up. Oops, see, I still want to fall backwards. There we go. Oh, that's better. And coming down. Now let's reverse. Roll up and over and plie and straighten. Up, over, and plie and straighten. Two more times. Up, over, lifting up higher as you plie. Feel it going up in all position. Straighten. One more. And straighten. Now it's so funny because I so much want to do lots of releves and things, but the, being that this is my first day back in three years, I'm not going to do that. I am going to do some tondus. Let's do that. Very basic. Lifting up. Feeling that rotation, you know what? I'm going to start in parallel again. Lift up through your stomach. Keep that spine in neutral. <sighs> Shoulders open and broad. And rotate from those turnout muscles under your butt. There we go. And tondu. Press. Tondu. And close. <coughs> Left leg. Tondu. Now it's tempting with point shoes to feel like you should just press into the ground and that's what's going to make your toe point. You want to try and work, I'm going to do the right side again, work your toes, make that shoe point with your toes, right? Not just depending on the, the floor to point your foot, right? Woo! Got to flex now because, woo, got a cramp. Point. Now I'll push over and up. Again, when you come back, don't want to be leaning on that toe. You want to be fully able to just stand on your leg and close. I know we're not following a rhythm here, guys, but I want you to see kind of what I play with when I'm just trying to warm myself up and trying to slowly get back into some kind of shape, right? Go to the side. That's hard. Look at that. Oh, my feet are so out of shape as far as wanting to really work through the shoe. And I'm feeling tension coming into my hip flexors as an old habit. So I'm going to lift up more through my center. There we go. Engage right through that center of the stomach and then use those muscles under my butt to keep that rotation going. I'm going to flex it now. There we go. There's some engagement. Ah, I felt it. Yay! Other side, flex, point, oof, close, yowzers. I'm going to go to the back, I'm going to just press back gently, I'm not going to do it very far, point, close, and to the left, back, I'm looking to the back mirror to see what it looks like. Lifting up, again, lifting up and forward and close. I'm going to do one more plie, roll through releve. Funny, see, when my knees click in, they just want to push me back. So continuing to feel that rotation, feel that spiral rotating down your leg as sort of a mental picture, all the way down to your toes, and then lifting up through the top. Sometimes I have the balance and then I psych myself out, which is really interesting. Ooh, nope. And I open the arms, the shoulders rolled back. Let's see if I can lift. Mm, up 
and forward. There we go. Woo! Okay. That's it. That's what I'm doing for today. All right, a little stretch out on the shoe. It's tempting to want to do so much more, but you know, I'm going to take it slow and easy. I've been doing this a long time, and I would like to be able to continue to do it into my 50s, 60s, and 70s, 80s, 90s. I know some dancers who can, and they still have a great time doing it. But in order to be able to do that, um, I am going to make sure I take care of myself now. So that's it for today. Um, let me see. Coming forward. This is what we're looking at. Right, so I was talking about those rotator muscles back there, using them. I know they're not there right now, but they're somewhere under there, right, to get these. And then for feet, I'm going to do some more foot exercises, um, both in the shoe and out of the shoe, with my TheraBand. I know you've watched other dancers do that, right, using the TheraBand to push through and stretch through, so that'll help. And um, I hope that these very simple, simple exercises will help you. I know I watch a lot of videos on YouTube and um, every video I watch helps in one way or the other. So hopefully this one helps you today. You've been watching Ballerina Badass. My name is Georgia Reed. Never give up. Never stop dancing. I love you all. Toy, toy, toy. Whew.